We're sort of learning that Elise is competent, um, that she's somewhat fearless in terms of dealing with demons, that she is vulnerable, um, that she has had loss in her life, and that she can be a, hero, a heroine. Those are major, wonderful qualities for anybody to play as a character. It's a more important movie, I think, than just a genre film. It it's, tackles huge ideas of abuse and um, forgiveness and finding forgiveness in yourself and um, re-embracing family and how important family is. The way this film starts is, Specs and Tucker have, have moved into my house, <laughs> so I now have two kids, kind of two boys, who, and uh, the relationship is very fun and very familial. We argue a little bit, we, they, we rib each other a little bit. Um, Elise is in, the, in a happy place. She's in probably the best place we've seen her in when this opens. These movies are more than a fun ride, in my opinion. They are, um, I think they, they're insidious. The name of the word, the word means something that crawls kind of inside of you and that has an insidious way of affecting you in, in an unconventional and, and unexpected way. And I think that's what these movies do. I think they, they will provoke dialogue and thoughts. Hey, Vali here. Now, a lot of effort goes into making a movie, and this, the exorcist behind the scenes fact, goes to show it. William Friedkin had a shotgun with blank shells that he'd shoot off on the soundstage during breaks. It scared the daylights out of everybody, and after a few times, he was asked to stop. The actors didn't find it funny. What they didn't know was that their reactions were being filmed and later inserted into the movie as their reaction when Regan made a sound upstairs. Hmm. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. See you next time.